Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. Again, it's time to break it down, get everything sent off to powder, paint. Hopefully I can walk you guys through most of that process. I know the painter really well, so we could probably video him. Uh, we're gonna try to maybe even see if we can get in with the powder coater guys. Maybe they'll let us kinda, kinda see what they do. That'd be kinda cool. So, last we left off, she's still sitting in the same spot. Uh, but we are going to go ahead, break this thing down now, and get whatever needs to be finished, finished, and get sent off. Let's go ahead and start breaking it down. All right, wheels all boxed up, ready to ship. That's how you package. Like two rolls of tape, security tape, foam inside. She's ready to go. All right guys, so the bottom bracket correction is done. I was able to cut just enough away to twist it to where I needed it to go. Now it is perfectly straight. Gotta pay more attention next time. Went ahead, welded there, 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 there's welded. Went ahead, welded on the inside of there, inside of there, and I went ahead and I finished up the fender so now it's a perfect line with that there. Uh, other than that, I have the support here to do, but I'm gonna wait till the wheel gets here to do that. I did go ahead and got my shifter bar started. I'll clean all that up before I even put it on, but it is gonna go right here where this line is. So it'll sit out, shifter will sit right here, directly underneath my leg. I'll just have to reach down and tap it. One more thing I think I wanna do, I wanna do something on this area here. I don't know yet. I don't know if I wanna add, not necessarily scales, but maybe some kind of, uh, almost like spikes coming down. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. I'm going to test a couple pieces because uh, I've got some, so I've got time since I can't really do much until the wheel gets back. I want to try a few things. So I just want to see how that'll look. Maybe if I just add a couple in here, it'll actually help fill up the space as well. Other than that, looking pretty good. All right. So that's all finished up. That's going to be my shifter. Of course, I'll have to cut the post down a little bit. It doesn't need to be that long, but it goes there. All nice and metal finished. The next thing is I made a few small spikes. I don't know about them yet. I'm not, I'm not sold. Kind of looks cool. It looks much better. I spread them apart. I went bigger to medium to small. I also thought about maybe running them down here would look kind of cool too. But like I said, I'm not sold on it yet. I don't know. I'm not going to weld it in until I figure it out. I may wait until everything comes in and I start final assembly before paint and powder to really figure out if that's what I want to do or not. But I kind of like it. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's like, my mind, my body's telling me no. So, I don't know, a little R. Kelly for you. It's just got more shaping to do to get those down, but yeah, made these by hand out of out of tubes. So actually, like, I like I like that I was able to make, a, you know, a couple few, a few more little artsy things by hand. So that was kind of cool. But like I said, they might look really neat coming down down here you know i can go big to small small to big whatever oh well it's your boy's birthday so i am going out for dinner tonight and i'm gonna call it a day and i will see you guys when we get back to it good morning all right got a few things came in um we're still in the mints of this build off bike just getting everything touched up i did figure out what i was gonna do with the spikes I have. So I'm gonna take the smallest one I made. It's gonna go here. Uh, so it'll just give that uh, illusion that the tube has gone through. And once it's on there and I clean up the welds and uh, kind of metal shape it into there, it'll look like that. Then we're gonna take the big, we're gonna take the big boy and it's gonna go something like that there. So it'll look like the uh, bottom bracket has a spike coming off of it. So I think that'll look cool. I think that'll do it. I won't need the third one. Picked up some stuff here too. My buddy Lawless has sent me the weld on kickstand, which thing looks solid. Super awesome. And then we've got oh, the shifter. Yeah, buddy. I love this style. 
of the shifter. I think it really goes with the medieval theme of it, but it'll go right here. Uh, he does amazing work, guys. Like I, I did a full video uh, installing one of these and yeah, amazing stuff here. It's all machined, yep, that'll go there. So next thing to do is again, we're just waiting for that wheel to come in. And as soon as that wheel comes in, we can slap it on, get everything finished, welded, everything cleaned up, put away, off to paint. And I already talked to the painter, got a new sponsor, Orion. Thank you so much. They, uh, they're they doing the paint for me. They sent the paint over to Easy Customs, who is also gonna be doing the actual paint for me. Uh, Eddie at Easy Customs, he did the uh, lowrider build off bike. So he did the painting on this one here. So I'm super excited to have him on board again. I'm super excited to have Orion Paints on board. Uh, new company, so I love working with new companies and hopefully we can help each other grow. That's the point. So I think that's about it for right now. Let's keep moving on to this and uh, let's go. All right, guys, off camera, I have been just going to town on it. I added the spikes, which I am super happy how they turned out. I definitely I needed them to be incorporated into the frame to understand how the look was gonna gonna come out but you can see the bar goes so it looks like it pops out there that right there just gives the bottom bracket a little bit more uh I don't know just gives a little more uh, you know but anyway shifters on there I did go ahead I made the holes here and here that's where the shifter cable is gonna come out uh, I did practice putting them in, which it wasn't too bad. So we'll see if I can do it when the time comes, but that's it. I think other than the placement of the egg, which I gotta show you guys, I got a 3D egg printed uh, that I'm gonna put possibly on the frame. Don't know yet. Cause I've got to put the frame together, the chain and everything, and then see if the egg's gonna go down here where I want it to. If not, it'll be a cool piece somewhere. I did go ahead and add that structure bar other than that, very happy with it. So we now got her into a full back roller. <laughs> Took about two chains and a little bit extra. She pedals really, really easy. Chain line is super straight. Super happy with it. She looks so much better. Love the look at this thing. I love that I added the points there. I think they just do a little extra something. Now tomorrow we're gonna see if my egg is gonna fit right here. We'll check that tomorrow. It's getting late even now. You always gotta work tomorrow. I am digging this though, it looks so good. So what my guess is, if the egg will go there, super cool, we'll deal with that later. Well, once I get all this together here, it's gonna go on the ground. We are going to get the front end on, go take it for a test ride. You guys can come along. See y'all tomorrow. guys new day let me start getting more work done i want to show you guys yeah i know it kind of looks like pineapple but it's not you can see the eggs and what's really cool about this is it does open on the inside is this was all 3d printed from a friend of mine so cool idea might do something where i could put a battery down inside of it and if i want to run any led lights 
or something like that, I can run the LED lights inside and put the battery in here and you won't even know it's there. So that's super cool. It does so happen that it does fit if I want to place it here. Again, I'm not really sure. I just don't know. I don't know if it's too much. If I do it, you know, hmm. these are those kind of decisions where you're just like, should I or not? I was thinking there, I was even thinking here. My painter is going to paint this so that it looks like a real egg. It's not going to look like a yellow fruit, but he's going to paint it to make it look uh, just like a real egg. So yeah, guys, so this was last night. Got it there. Got the seat on really quick. Uh, it's just sitting in there, but it's bolted down. Chain is on, so full pedal motion. Love it. Still got some more grind work to do. I got to figure out how I'm going to get in here and grind that grind those welds down. I'm not grinding the welds down on the side or the bottom because once it's powder coated, that stuff's going to all blend in anyway. And I'm more concerned. Let me put this down. I'm more concerned with the top view than anyone getting down in here. So I just want that once that is powder coated, everything will look really smooth. Like I'm not getting rid of the welds here. These are structural places that I am more concerned about having a, you know, having a failure. Uh, did make some templates out of the tray that I kind of want to use if I'm going to put the egg here. So that'll go down here like this. And then the side pieces will go down and then you'll have the back pieces. And that egg is just going to, I'm going to bolt it down. So it'll bolt. I'm going to run a nut cert here, bolt it down. Either way, I guess I can go ahead and do it. Kind of let's just see what happens. Let's go ahead and make, I can cut these brackets up real quick. Just kind of go from there, I guess. So there, I just worked, I, I got all the pieces cut, uh, welded them all together, got it down to what kind of what I'm trying to shoot for. Right now I'm gonna make these areas a little bit deeper so that when it sits down on the tubing, there you go, when it sits down on the tubing, it's gonna sit all the way in. Um, but this the general idea of kind of what I'm going for. A little bit more cleaning up to do though. All right, so everything's all cleaned up with the tray. Now what I'm trying to do, and it's been years, since I've done sandbag work and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to pull this off but what I'm trying to do is get this metal to concave so that I can lay it down inside of here I want it to give the appearance of almost a pillow type of a deal so uh, the outside's fine it'll lay on the top like so and then the, once the egg goes in the tray will be all the way down to here and then I'll add a riv nut Riv cert, whatever, bolt through the egg so that it holds it all into place and it can be removed from the frame. In case I want to do this in a different color or do something else to it. So we'll see what happens. It'll work or it won't, right? You see it's starting to concave it. I'm beating my way from the middle and just working my way out. Nice, so yeah, it's definitely been a long time doing any kind of bag work, but I got it roughly how I want it. It's really hot right now, but um, I still gotta clean up the outside where the welds penetrated. I'm gonna clean all that up inside, but you get the gist. It looks like there's a pillow in there. I'll maybe even put some felt in there because like I said, this is gonna be removable. I'm gonna run a bolt right to the center, which will go through the center of the egg and it'll all come out at once, but that was a lot of work for just that little bit of stuff. Oh well, on to the next thing. All right guys, so I have decided I am gonna go with the tray. Worst case scenario, if I end up not liking it when it's all said and done, I just have a rib nut sitting here. You're not gonna see it once it's all powder coated anyway. So I'm gonna do it right now. Gonna have to figure out 
how I'm gonna get my drill in here. I think I wanna make sure everything is somewhat level too. Might start with a smaller hole first. I think I'm pretty centered. Let's make sure. Actually, what we can do, so now that we have a laser, there we go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start out with a small hole. I'm gonna go ahead and do a, get my punch. Punch a small hole and see if I can get a smaller drill bit in there, and then I can just gradually open it as I go. All right, so it's mounted, it's on there. It's, it's tight too, so I'm happy with it. I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, it's definitely different. I think it adds, I think once it's painted though, that that's definitely when it's gonna add to the effect, you know? But I do like it. Uh, I talked to my painter, He's gonna he is going to paint the basket. So he'll do something cool there, so that also will stand out. It won't get lost into the color of the frame. Super happy with that. And then like I said, if I wanna run LEDs on the bottom, like a strip, and let's say I wanna put my battery somewhere. You can open this up. And as Adam Sandler once said, you can put your weed in there. So I think our next step's gonna be installing the shifter. Now I'm not going to completely install it because I'm gonna to have to wait till everything's done. It's gonna to have to be powder coated, ready for final assembly before I run the cable back up through here and through there and fingers crossed that I can do it again. I do want to go ahead and put this on there just so I can see where everything's going to run. Um, I did do a full video on how to install a suicide shifter. On these Nexuses, you always remove the rubber piece here. Try not to break it. This is going to be going on almost upside down-ish. Also always put it in second gear. Before you take this stuff apart, put it in second gear. I also want to paint, I think I'm going to paint this black. I was gonna build a cover, but that didn't happen. So I think painting this black is gonna be the way to go. I'm gonna put it on there for now. Tighten it down real quick. I'm just gonna tighten it down so it doesn't flop around. But that is the angle that it'll be. And you can see the cord will come up like that and basically disappear. And then you see that this will go up inside of there. And I'll let that sit loose until I figure out exactly how I'm gonna get it in there. But for right now, all right, and the super amazing right there guys if you need it it's where you're gonna go oh, thing is so beautiful so i'm gonna get my allen key for this one and it just goes over the shifter so you figure out where you want it i'm probably never gonna shift out of second gear running a smaller crank like this you don't need to it takes off really easy it's very rare that you're gonna need to ever go into first this isn't I'll be honest, guys, it's not really, this isn't a rider. This isn't something I'm probably going to ride much. They'll be lucky if it sees any, any street use at all. <laughs> Stand back and look at that. That is so cool. The shifter is just, as soon as I saw it, I knew I needed it. I may go in a little bit more. I am out quite a bit, but the reason I'm out so far is because I've got to make sure that I can get that cable up inside of there and it, it doesn't bend as easily as you would maybe want it to. And there's really no other way to hide it. I really want to pay attention to the details, hide stuff in the frames and not just leave it sitting out like that. So I'll leave that on. We're almost ready to, uh, just about ready to put it on the ground. Okay guys, so I think it's time to bring it down. I had to clean the shop. The shop was so disgusting from all the grinding, but I think what I'm gonna do is we need to go ahead and bring it down. I need to get the front end on, and then that way we can go ahead and get the kickstand on. Because I need it on the ground, I need it on level to know exactly where. I know where it's gonna go, but I need to know what angle it's gonna be. But it fits perfectly right there, so that's gonna be awesome. 
It's gonna be nice and tucked away. It's pretty thick for me to weld, so what I'll have to do is basically grind this into a point. That way I can get enough penetration for it to actually work because that thing is a thick boy. And I don't have a welder for that. I think that's what we'll do. I need to get it on the ground, somehow get it on the ground, get it level so where it's exactly where I need it to be. She came out pretty good. I think I'm done with the fab work. I don't think I'm gonna, I have other ideas I wanna do, but I'm not doing it. I don't wanna go overboard. I think it's enough. Let's get it on the ground. And there she is on the ground, mock-up finished. I can actually go ride it. Unfortunately, it's dark and it's raining outside. So it's gonna wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and knock the kickstand out really quick. And I'm, I, I can definitely say I am in love with this bike. I think whether people like it or don't like it, I think everything on it is exactly what I wanted. I don't know if there's anything I'd change. Maybe I would have scaled the fender had I had time. A hundred thousand more spins. Maybe I would have put scales on the fender. But other than that, I don't think there's much I'd change to it. You can definitely see how funny it looks without the headlight there, but I'm gonna worry about putting the headlight on right now. But again, super happy. Knock this kickstand out real quick so that it can sit on its own and it doesn't fall off of that old cheap Harbor Freight uh, vice there. All right, so again, guys, it's super easy. It is, it's a nice kickstand though, but I need to put it to where I want it. Mark it on the frame where I'm gonna allow it to lay. I want it to sit on this right here. Also gotta watch and make sure it's not hanging too low on the bottom. I'm gonna have to take this part here and grind it into a point because it is so thick that my welder is not gonna weld that. So I'm gonna go do that real quick and then we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, th we'll throw it on. Let's go. Sorry it's a little noisy guys, but quick tip. Do not weld these on the bracket completely while these are on because that little spring that's inside of there will burn up and you won't have it'll lose all its tension so tack it take it apart and then put it back together once it cools down let me go ahead and burn that in real quick There you go guys so that's that's it super happy super stoked with it i will finish the kickstand once i break it down and i flip it over i'll finish the kickstand finish welding it on other than that that's good needed to be it sits perfect frame sits up in the air it's not falling over which i'm glad normally you don't want your kickstand that far forward because it'll allow the frame to move to where it wants to uh tip it that way that's not didn't, didn't matter it worked out just fine, luckily enough. Egg looks super weird, I'm not sure. We'll see after it's getting painted. Hopefully I can get a bunch of video from the painter for you guys and the powder coater and do all that. That's my hope, we'll see what happens. Gotta be able to have time to get over there while he's painting and while I'm at work. Let's get through the paint and just keep moving on to the show. I am gonna try to shoot live at the show uh, on Instagram. So enough talk, enough gabbing. Let's break this thing back down again. Oh, after we take a bird test try. Let's go do that. All right, so I think it's as ready as it can be. I'm gonna set you guys out there and then ride by. It's just me and I have someone holding the camera for me. So just ride by and we'll see how it rides.
All right, so not bad. It rides, uh, it's definitely in first gear, I think, because it rode really, really like way too easy. So I don't have the shifter on, so I can't mess with that. I do need to be careful of the shifter. I wasn't really paying attention, but I wrapped my leg up underneath that thing. So not used to having it there, so I don't pay attention to it, but I will. Just got to stand a little bit wider. Tire's making a weird noise. I think that's just, it, just the way it's sitting or the way it's seated on the rim. So it's making kind of a weird squeaky noise. No big deal. Plenty of chain clearance. I'm not, chain's not touching the rim at all. So that's perfect. Could probably be a little bit tighter, which I do that when it's time for final assembly. It rides good. It's super easy to ride. It's comfortable. Uh, my legs are at the perfect extension. It actually could have probably been a little bit shorter, but that worked. Other than that, we're good. So now break it back down, get it off to paint and powder and finish this thing up. Okay, so I have decided that I do need to make some stands before I break it down. So first thing I did here is I had an old wheel stand that I am gonna make work. This was made for a 26 inch. This is a normal wheel stand that you put your wheel in and it, it grabs a hold of it so the frame can't fall over. So because it's for a 29, it has to come way up higher, but it also has to fit in between the coaster brake and all the other stuff. So what I'm gonna do is trim that around there get that up in there and then probably need to bend this up more and then get this up in there add whatever I need to add in however long probably and then once that's in weld that together and I'll have a back stand and then for the front I'm not super worried about the front just needs to not flap side to side so I just need to be able to keep it in place I made this a while back so I think this could be a side piece and then I'll cut a couple of these out here, which will go on the inside of each one. And then I'll rib nut them to the, uh, the actual post on each side. Since this is aluminum, I'll make a cap on the end there. We'll rib nut that like that, like that. And then I'll actually hold the wheel in place so it can't flop around. Because you don't, you, that's the last thing you want is your handlebar swinging around and smacking your paint. But that'll allow that to stay so it can't go back and forth. So that's the project for today, I think. I'll go ahead and knock that out. Here we go, so everything is together. And what I went ahead and I've bolted them all together so that I can actually go through. There's some extra that I need to grind so that I can make sure that they're exactly both on the same side, exactly the same. So that's kind of how they'll look. And then they'll have the tubes coming out. One going up this way to stop the wheel from rolling back, one going this way to keep the stand flat on the ground. These do have a little bit of an angle because I, from what I had made them for way back, but didn't use them. Just gonna do some quick flap disc around that area and then we can get on to making the uh, actual posts. All right, so I cut these up real quick. Um, you don't gotta watch this here. There you go, all capped. Just ran two of them really quick. Pop two holes in here, throw in some rib nuts, and I've got some really cool washers for those Allen head bolts, which I'll show you too. But we gotta line these up with the aluminum really quick to find out exactly where I wanna put the holes. Yes, yeah, so I picked up these cool washers here. What they do is they're countersunk, so it allows the bolt to sit down inside. So they're super cool. You can get them off eBay for like 20 bucks. Definitely adds like a nice touch to it. Yeah. Go 
see kind of like how it'll fit. I still got to put the bottom ones on, but let's see how this looks. I don't even need to do, I don't even need to do the other ones. That was perfect. Nah, got to put something to fill the holes now though. I guess I should have waited to drill those, but whatever. It works. It actually looks cool. Holds it in place. It can't move. Not bad at all. It kind of looks neat. Nothing like double die can't hurt, you know? I may stick something. Since I made those other blocks, maybe I'll put those on the outside of there. Just to stop this right here. Pretty cool. I'm happy with that. So now we got to get back on the back. All right, guys. So I kind of got in a groove a little bit. And I went ahead and I knocked this out. I didn't record it. I really didn't. Nothing y'all need to see. But I just built this extension. So there's an extra three inches on here. So this will allow me to do this. I'll show you. There you go. So now it allows the bike to stand up at the show. Kickstand gets put away. Everything gets stand up just like that. Real quick too, I want to show you guys a video uh, what the egg's going to look like and what it's going to do while we're at the show. I'll show you that real quick right now. Pretty cool, right? I don't know how the light's gonna show up really in the sun, but you'll at least hear the noise when you walk by them. A little growl. But that's it, man. She's done, guys. So now you can see it sits up straight all by itself because it's locked in there and it's locked in up front. So super cool. Glad I had that little bit of dimple dye stuff left over to use. Other than that, it's time to break it down. I know I said last video was gonna be the last one. This is the last one. Okay, that's it. You're done. You're done until we uh, get done with paint. So next video that we'll do with this build will be straight up paint, powder. Uh, we'll do everything with it. And then it's gonna be a long one because I'm gonna, I'll run that right into the show. So by the time you guys, next time you're gonna see this build, it'll be at that show. So you guys, here's the uh, information again on it. Come out, come say hi if you can make it. It's over at Cocoa Beach, Florida, February 25th. Uh, we'll be out there. I'll have a booth. I'll have shirts out there possibly stickers. We'll have some free posters I have some of those right there Yeah, free posters. You guys can have some of those if you like got a short amount Maybe like 40 of them, but I got some other than that guys. Thanks for watching like subscribe. Stay tuned We got big things coming this year later